That fog, it's getting a lot thicker, Dr. Logan. It's okay, Lars. I'll take the helm. Sacre bleu. This is quite a pea soup. Good thing there's nothing to run into way out here but us. I don't like it. Not one bit. <gasps> what was that? There! I see nothing. Why are you so nervous? It's the Kraken. It was seen in these parts. <laughs> Lars, calm yourself. The Kraken is merely an old Norse legend. There are no such thing as sea monsters. Get a load of these rockin' poses, you will be looking at their next supermodel. Yeah, especially with King using major airbrush to amp up your muscles. Hey, if you got the bod, you get the nod. Just don't change the hair. You don't want to mess with greatness. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not touching the hair. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Dude, take it easy. Those are my primo board shorts. I had some of my best wipeouts in them. Huh? Yo! Hey, dudette! Long time no here! It's Rachel Logan! Hey, Ray. Hi. What's going on? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hang tight, Rach. I think the rest of the dudes might want to hear this, too. Guys, it's my dad. He's a marine biologist. He was on a research mission collecting species when his ship just... Vanished. Not to worry, Rach. We'll help you find them, no problemo. Yeah, just tell us when and where. Oh, thanks, guys. Meet you at my boat, the Valhalla, Landmark City Harbor. Come on, team. We've got some rescuing to do. And, uh, you get plenty of pictures of me doing it while looking great in my swimsuit. It's my swimsuit, dude! Place that ship was heard from. Hey, Rachel! Who rocks? I hope you're getting this shot, King. No hairbrush required. Yeah, yeah, got it. Hey, Rachel!
for the tow, dude. Those were some righteous waves. Way righteous, Sharkster. But there's light in the tunnel when you break through the funnel. Pipeline? Pipeline? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's my man. That's my man. <laughs> okay. This is just a wild guess, but you two know each other. Shark! Hawk! Are you guys okay? Better than ever. Bros, meet my old bud pipeline. The dude who taught me everything I know about surfing. Just what the waves allow, he who knows them knows all. Oh, hey, is this guy deep or what? Okay, look, the alien convention is five blocks over. You've just got enough time to catch the mothership. <laughs> oh, great. Now there's two of them. Your favorite sandwich, the Mondo Supremo. Mm -hmm. Sardines and jam, you remember it. Oh, note to self, never eat again. I owe you more than a sandwich for saving my boat and my friends. Uh, least I could do for the buds of my bud. I've been looking out for this one since he's a little ho-dad, right, dude? For sure. Remember when you taught me to shoot the pier? Ha-ha, <laughs> gnarlicious. Are you following this? Cause I lost them after Hodad. Uh, I remember you couldn't wait to start shredding those pilings. Hey, you were no minnow yourself. That's what I thought, bro, till a 20-foot wave wiped me out. After that, I just couldn't face a board again. I'd start to shake. Yeah, bro. I heard you gave up surfing forever. Uh, surfing, maybe. But the water, no way. Bought that old trawler, got into the salvage game. You know, there's a lot of shipwrecks out there. Oh! <gasps> Oh, uh, sorry. Hey, uh, maybe I could help you search. I know these waters pretty well. Guys, take a look. <laughs> I just got a blip on the sonar. It might be a ship. The bad news is, it's way underneath us. Then we'd better take a closer look. of underwater shots for my portfolio. I'm so glad. Axe, you're getting closer to that sonar blip. Roger that, King. I see something. <gasps> it's the Thor! Mondo weird. No equipment, no crew, nothing. It's been like strip clean. You know, dude, if I didn't know better, I'd say this rig was big in two. <laughs> Give me a break. Nothing on earth is big enough to do that. We're sushi. Then we'll just have to fight it. How about a tasty torpedo supremo, sea monster, dude? Knocked 
out the power! I've lost control! We're sinking! Frieza? Yoda. Now see if the map points to a way out of here. The pressure's too great. The sub can't take it. It's collapsing. <laughs> yeah, that's my man. The power panels took a jolt, but nothing I couldn't fix. Yeah, I'd like to fix that razor, dude. He sicked that gnarly sea monster on us like a junkyard dogfish. That thing must be the Kraken. The old fisher dude said they seen it in these waters. No, a Kraken is strictly legendary. More of a giant squid. What we saw was a plesiosaur. A prehistoric marine reptile supposedly extinct. Yeah? Well, it almost made us extinct. Reza must have found it in the ocean and somehow made it his pet. And if Reza is around, it means Lee must be close by. And I'll give you odds he knows something about your father's disappearance. Then let's go get him. Where do we start? Listen to the whale song wave speak. Fishy footprints in the agua. Um, huh? I think I understand. Oh, great. So now I'm the only one who doesn't speak fish. I think by footprints pipeline means that something as big as a plesiosaur might leave oily patches on the ocean's surface like a whale does. The wahine digs big time. Bingo! Plesiosaur footprints. I say size 114, triple E. Ahoy, matey! They're heading into that fog bank. We're gonna lose them. No, the fog's clearing, and the tracks are leading straight toward that oil drilling platform. Cool! Maybe that's his day job. Think I'll check out that rig while the fog's giving us some cover. Just a bunch of oil jackets. <gasps> Tilly! Which means... Lee. It's getting late. Let's steer back into the fog. We'll move in when it's dark for a closer look. It's time. Team, go Night Ops. <laughs> Be hunting, guys. Okay, let's all stay together. <gasps> Dude always was headstrong. And I think he's met his match. <sighs> Where'd Pipe Boogie off to? You should have seen it, Mr. Lee. A little Kraken made chop suey out of those meddling do-gooders. Excellent work, Razor. First Dr. Logan and now Manning's team. Your prehistoric pet has proven most useful. Now let's see if the good doctor is making any progress. He's got Dr. Logan. So this oil rig is just a cover for another of Lee's crazy schemes. Ah, 
about the other Dr. Logan. So we meet again. But I don't believe I've had the pleasure of your acquaintance. Pleasure's in the eye of the hurricane, dude. Well, no matter. <sighs> you and your enigmatic friend will now be working for me to help implement my most ambitious experiment yet. By combining DNA from the rare marine specimen so carefully collected by your brilliant father with the DNA of certain land-based creatures, I intend to create the ultimate mutant. A single being with the powers and abilities of all my new team. One which can live in any environment. I will call him Homo Aquaticus. <laughs> I still don't see why you're trying to build something better than us. Maybe he couldn't come up with anything worse. Rachel, her dad, and get him out of here! Miss all the fun, dude? No way! Yeah. Yeah. That's my man! That's my man! Yeah. Yeah. Going somewhere? Yeah, right through you! Rachel! You'll ignite those unstable compounds! <laughs> They've beaten you again! Retreat! Scary, bro. But the sleeping sand must face the waking tide. Cool. That's ready. Just like old times, except bigger and fatter. I forgot how rad it feels to shoot the girl. How much I've missed it. Thanks, dude. Awesome, dude. Woo -hoo! I don't know how to thank you all for rescuing us. My only regret is that I never got to study the plesiosaur more closely. Yeah, well, I never got to see it at all. And it really busts my grill. The Kraken! Uh -huh. oh, no! no, wait! Yes, Reza isn't the only one who can communicate with the Kraken. But did he have to communicate with my sandwich? Reza must have been a bad influence. The Beast just needs to hang out with a better class of friends. Mondo Supremo does it every time. It's Monday, it's really cold, and it's still dark outside. Just be thankful you aren't a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Because if you were, you'd have to live in a sewer and eat pizza for breakfast. Pizza. Stay tuned for the Turtles after the break. <laughs>